Hello, grade 4 learners. Welcome to science class. Today, we will study the different sources of water. Grade 4, quarter 4. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify the different sources of water. Explain the use of water in our daily activities. And show the importance of conserving water. What can you say about the pictures? Where does the water come from? Those that you see in the picture are all example of sources of water. To start our discussion with our lesson, let us sing together the song entitled, The Water Song. Sip, sip water to quench your thirst. A gulp of water for an energy burst. Drink your water day and night. It keeps you feeling just right. Water is better than a sugary drink. You play, it'll help you think Better than any drink on the shelf It's so great for your health Slurp, slurp water while at your school A cold glass of water makes you feel real cool It'll make you green and help you feel fine Drink your water all the time The formal name is H2O It'll make you strong Water puts a smile on your face. Keep a bottle of water within arm's reach while on the field or at the beach. Running, swimming, riding, or on a swing. Water is everything. Water is everything. Water. Can I have a glass of water? What do you think is the message of the video song you have watched? Do you agree with that? I think the message of the video song we have watched is that water has many uses and water is everything. And I agree with that teacher. Your answer is appreciated. Let us continue our discussion. What are the sources and kinds of water? Are you familiar with it? Water comes from different sources. It may come from open or closed sources. It may also come from a small body of water or a big body of water. Others come from clouds as rain. Water. Water is a chemical substance composed of hydrogen and oxygen existing in gaseous, liquid and solid tastes that is essential to all known forms of life. Water is a clear, colorless, odorless, tasteless liquid that freezes into ice below 0 degrees centigrade and boils above 100 degrees centigrade. Water is one of the vital elements needed in our day-to-day -day activities as a living being. Water is not just essential to our health, but we also use it for numerous household tasks such as cooking, bathing, cleaning, and drinking. But how often do we think about its source? Where does our water come from? How is it treated? How do we know it is safe to drink? And many other questions we ought to raise. The following are major sources of water. Surface water, groundwater, seawater, and the major components of water is rainwater. Let us discuss one by one the major sources of water. Surface water or fresh water. Surface water is water on the surface of continents such as in a river, lake, or wetland. It can be contrasted with groundwater and atmospheric water. Non-saline surface water uses is replenished by precipitation and by recruitment from groundwater. Surface water can be used for cleaning, washing, bathing, preparing food and other household uses. It sustains plant and animal life. It is used to water plants. It is given to animals to drink. Without water, animals and people will die of thirst. Example of surface water is lake. A lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land. Lakes may also be created by landslides or mudslides that send soil, rock, or mud sliding down hills and mountains. P 
People make lakes by digging basins or by damming rivers or springs. These artificial lakes can become reservoirs, storing water for irrigation, hygiene, and industrial use. Another example of surface water is ponds. A pond is a small area of still, fresh water. It is different from a river or a stream because it does not have moving water and it differs from a lake because it has a small area and is no more than around 1.8 meters deep. Some ponds are formed naturally, filled either by an underwater spring, or by rainwater, sometimes known as, dew ponds, other ponds are man-made. Next example of surface water is streams. Streams typically derive most of their water from precipitation in the form of rain and snow. Most of this water re-enters the atmosphere by evaporation from soil and water bodies, or by the evapotranspiration of plants. Another example of surface water is brooks. The smallest body of water is the brook, a natural stream of water that is found above ground and is often called a creek as well. A brook is usually a tributary, a small body of water that naturally flows into a large one, of a river, but this is not always the case. A brooks is a stream smaller than a creek, especially one that is fed by a spring or seep. It is usually small and easily forded. A brook is characterized by its shallowness. Another example of surface water is a swamp. A swamp is an area of land permanently saturated, or filled, with water. Many swamps are even covered by water. There are two main types of swamps, freshwater swamps and saltwater swamps. Swamps are dominated by trees. Surface water or freshwater in rivers, lakes and springs is used for recreation. One can go swimming or boating in these places. Clean rivers and lakes are also a rich source of aquatic animals like shrimps, crabs, and shellfish. Another major sources of water is groundwater. Groundwater refers to any source of water that lies beneath the soil layer. Groundwater can exist in the soil itself or between rocks and other materials. Example of groundwater is waterfalls. Water from the waterfalls can be used for domestic purposes like washing clothes, utensils and other things at home. They also helping irrigation of the different crops in the country. Due to changing weather that affects farmers, the waterfalls provide water which is used in irrigation purposes. Another example of groundwater is springs. Springs have provided sources of drinking water for humans for millennia. Many homes, farms and cabins use spring water as a drinking source by constructing a protective hut, or, spring box, that keeps critters out of the source water. Next example of groundwater is water well. The oldest and most common kind of well is a water well or deep well, to access groundwater in underground aquifers. The well water is drawn up by a pump, or using containers, such as buckets, that are raised mechanically or by hand. Water can also be injected back into the aquifer through the well. Another example of a groundwater is a water from a pumps. Pumps are a common means of lifting water from a clean groundwater source to a useful point of access, but all pumps have moving parts and are therefore destined to break. Next example of a groundwater is a water from a faucet. Filtered and treated water that's safe to drink, called potable water, is then stored in a reservoir from which it gets pumped through underground pipes, called water mains, to your house. A water pipe known as a service lateral line connects that water main to your house plumbing and brings the water right to your faucet when you turn it on. Another major sources of water is seawater. Seawater is a complex mixture of 96.5% water, 2.5% salts, and smaller amounts of other substances, including dissolved inorganic and organic materials, particulates, and a few atmospheric gases. Seawater constitutes a rich source of various commercially important chemical elements. Seawater is salty, it contains plenty of salt. It is found in the seas and oceans. Seawater is also called hard water. Seawater is the habitat of marine aquatic plants and animals. An example of seawater is ocean. An ocean is a body of water that composes much of a planet's hydrosphere. The ocean is one of Earth's most valuable natural resources. It is the largest source of surface water. Another example of seawater are seas. 
Seas are smaller than oceans and are usually located where the land and ocean meet. Typically, seas are partially enclosed by land. Seas are generally larger than lakes and contain salt water. Major components of water. Rainwater. It is the major components of water. It deposits most of the fresh water from Earth. It continues the supply of fresh water to the river. It recharges the underground water. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure that you understand the lesson very well. It is clearly stated and discussed. This time, you will going to perform some task in the learning activities I've prepared for you. Good luck! In activity 1, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Freshwater is also called hard water. Number 2. Groundwater is a safe source of water. Number 3. Seawater can be used as routes for transportation for boats. Number 4. The different kinds of water are seawater, freshwater, rainwater and groundwater. Number 5. Seawater is also called surface water. Number 6. Seawater is good for drinking. Number 7. The oceans, seas, rivers and ponds are the habitats of most aquatic plants and animals. Number 8. Without water life on Earth is possible. Number 9. Freshwater and groundwater are two important sources of water supply. Number 10. Another source of water are clouds and snow. Activity 2. Study the pictures in the next page. Describe how water is used in each picture. Use the words for watering plants, washing clothes, drinking, swimming, habitat of fishes. Write your answer in your notebook. Remember, water comes from different sources. It may come from open or closed sources. It may also come from a small body of water or a big body of water. Others come from clouds as rain. The major sources of water are surface water like lakes, ponds, streams, brooks and swamp. Groundwater such as waterfalls, springs, deep well, pump and faucet. Seawater such as oceans and seas. The major components of water is rainwater. Water is one of the vital elements needed in our day-to-day -day activities as a living being. Water is not just essential to our health, but we also use it for numerous household tasks such as cooking, bathing, cleaning, and drinking. Water has many uses and it is everything. Wow! You're almost too close to finish the lesson. I hope you can still perform the task in the evaluation. In the first part of the evaluation, identify the sources of water. Write on the blank if it is seawater, surface water or freshwater, or groundwater. You only have 3 minutes to answer the activity.
In the second part of the evaluation, fill in the blank to complete the explanation of the use of water in our daily activities. The last part of the evaluation, list 4-4 ways to show the importance of conserving water. Copy and write your answer in the graphic organizer. Key answer. Please refer in this part to check your work from Activity 1 to Activity 2. Your work in the evaluation must be submitted to your teacher for checking and record purposes. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the lesson. Thank you! Until next time!